Good evening. I'm Jill Barker. I'm chair of the North Andover Poet Laureate Committee. And on behalf of myself, our town Poet Laureate Mark Borer, and our committee members, I want to welcome everyone to tonight's meeting. Mm -hmm. A live broadcast can be heard on www.northandovercam.org on the CAM Ed channel found on Comcast Channel 99 and Verizon Channel 28. Also, um, in addition to Mark and myself, the other Poet Laureate Committee members in attendance tonight are Karen Klein and Bridget Rodding. Uh, we are waiting on Jason O'Toole. Um, however, committee members Marie McAndrew Taylor and Latika Karnani um, will be unable to join us tonight. Um, if Jason appears, uh, he is a, the assigned secretary pro tem for tonight's meeting, um, but I will begin taking notes um, in his absence. All right, I think we'll um, forego the reading of an opening poem unless someone wants to set the mood and read one. Are well, we all in favor of that, uh, or Mark, do you have a little something? Yeah, I do. I, I posted Great. something uh, this morning oh, good. on Facebook. Um, and um, it's a, a collection from a Langston Hughes poem. And um, I think it speaks to um, where we are in our country these days. Um, I, I'd like to find out exactly when he wrote this. I mean, he probably wrote it in the 1920s. Um, uh, but, I'm, but I'm not sure. So, um, so maybe a little investigation to, to do. And, and here is um, some verses from the poem, Let America Be America Again by Langston Hughes. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plain, seeking a home where he himself is free. America was never America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme that any man be crushed by one above. It never was America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath, but opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. Oh yes, I say it plain, America never was America to me, and yet I swear this oath, America will be. Thank you, Mark. I, I have read that before. That was yeah. very yeah. apropos. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. All right, so now we get down to business here. I'm gonna refer to our meeting agenda. Um, see what kind of updates we have. This meeting will focus primarily on the Ann Bradstreet Poetry Contest that is ongoing. Um, the end of the month is the uh, final submission date. So we're going to take this opportunity to review um, the project and share updates. Um, so how are we looking in terms of entries, Mark? Okay. In terms of entries, we're up to 23 submissions at this okay. point. All right. Uh, the majority of them are elementary. Uh -huh. um, probably about, I don't have to do a count, but something like 15 of them are elementary. Um, we have um, a couple of middle school and then uh, the rest, probably three or four are adult. So, okay. Yeah. Right. So, you know. A, a fair showing. It would be nice to um, have a little more response at this point. But as you say, usually towards the end of a deadline, that's when. That's what I'm hoping. That's, <laughs> that's when people kind of get it going. But yeah. um, we'll see. Uh, this being the first attempt at, at uh, this poetry contest. Um, yeah. Sounds like a fair beginning, but we'll we'll see how that goes. So thanks for that update. Okay. Um, 
So for publicity, uh, maybe I'll start by saying um, I've, uh, as I said uh, off record before the meeting, I have not heard back from Merrimack College. I may, um, I may uh, call or email uh, another um, member of the uh, English department um, rather than just the director there. Um, I have um, notified uh, Brian McGonagall at the, um, yeah, what's it called? The Record Citizen. Um, the Patch. The Patch. Um, the Patch, I haven't r reached that yet. I, uh, I did. I did get contact um, the Eagle Tribune um, and Mark has been speaking, or I hope Mark's been speaking with her. What's happened with that? Um, she never called me. Oh. So I, yeah, so I don't know. If, um, I, I didn't have a chance to call her, um, but no, she never called. All right, well, I'll try, see if I can get a hold of her tomorrow. And did, because- Was there any- was there a phone number on that? Did she have a phone number? I mean, I, I replied uh, I think to they her. sent it to you. Didn't I send that to you on my yeah. second reply? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that I was replied. That's the one that I used. Um, I don't know if I've got it right uh, offhand. Um, hmm. I don't have it right here in front of me. I thought I did, but I don't see that. So I can give her another call. Let me just jot that okay. Okay, that'd be good. That's too bad because it would have been nice to kind of, you know, get that's some more, entry, more entries out of that. I know. Uh, hmm. It sounded like she was going to speak to you that day. And what was, how how long ago was that? I, well, in any case, I'll, I'll call her back. And okay. I'll check on that. Um, I did put flyers up in a couple of different locations in town. Um, I don't know if other people have done that as well. Uh, anybody else have, Karen or Bridget, you mentioned that um, at some point you'll follow up with uh, Heavenly Donuts, but you, 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 kind of, you kind of have a full plate right now. <laughs> Yeah, that was for an awards. I had sent an email. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, I had emailed and called and um, the manager. Well, I, the email and I never got a reply, so I gave a quick call and there was no um, manager available at the time, but I haven't okay. heard back. So I'm going to try to get there or give them another call. Okay. But anyway, that's kind of uh, jumping ahead. Yeah. Hi, I, I am late. Oh, um, so we are pleased to welcome Latika Karnani, um, uh, one of the members of our committee. Uh, she is now uh, at the meeting. Thanks for joining us, Latika. We've just talked about um, the update here with how many entries we have and talking about publicity. I mentioned what I had been working on and uh, asked for any other um, updates from other folks regarding publicity. Does anyone else have anything to offer or ask about on that on that topic? No, no update from me. Okay. All right. Um, well, let's hit, jump ahead then to the awards. Seeing as how Bridget was just speaking about trying to reach Duncan Donuts um, uh, and hopefully get some businesses to donate an award. Uh, or certificates that we can use it as an award. Have any other, Karen, I don't know if you were involved in looking, trying to get any. I have, I have a few uh, people who have offered um, probably monetary awards. Um, I'll tell you the names later after we're off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Monetary awards. Uh, hmm, what are we doing about that? Well, it would be like a first, second, third. Okay. They, they uh, how do people feel about that? 
I didn't catch which. It would be a what did she, she said? Monetary. Yeah, I'm not sure wait, about that. Wait, wait, wait. I shouldn't, have said, I shouldn't have said it that way. It would be gift certificates. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I said it wrong. I was thinking of something else totally. Okay, that's all right. And that yeah. that works better. <laughs> gift certificates. Yep. Okay. And um. All right. Uh. Latica, I don't know if you're able to do anything where you are in that regard. I don't want to get any, I mean, uh, there might be a place up here that's, uh, you know, a, a larger corporation that would give a gift certificate. Well, like, like a, like I a guess, franchise, I guess. I don't well, know. or, but it would have to have a North Andover presence. That's right, like thing. McDonald's or something like that is what I was thinking of. Like, right, I think Jason was going to follow up with like the fast food chains, or yeah, I don't know if anything came of that. But thank you for mentioning that. Oh yeah, okay. All right, um, trying to think of. Oh, we got to crank this up and uh, see what we can get for that. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other ideas other than, I guess, just the local businesses? We just need to go. Oh, I know. Did you get to go to Golden Seal at all, Karen? I did, and there wasn't anyone there that was a manager at the time, and I didn't get back. Okay, because they would be a great place to have. I'd really love to get a gift certificate from them. Something from them, yeah. I'll try. Definitely. That that would be one of the better. Um, places. Yep. You. And you had a lot on your list. You had Takis and J and M and the market up there that you were going to put posters up. Were you able to do that at all? I did put a poster at Taki. Okay. Um, and I haven't heard back from him yet as far as whether he could do something. Okay. And the marketplace sounds like it would have been a good place. Was that something you were able to put up when you were no, talking? No. I couldn't hear you what the what? Uh, the market out there on Salem Street next to Takis. Oh, well, that, yes, that's the same. I mean, it just could you did you put a poster up there or should I go out there? Well, no, there, it's to bo for both places. I mean, there I've got. I think it's seen by both places at once because it's connected. Yeah. Okay. I haven't been in there, so I don't know how that works. So they have like one big community bulletin board. I'm trying to remember myself what that looks like. I'll check. I'll check. All right. And any and what about the veterinary? Um, the you know, I have not. I have not heard back from Julie. She, we couldn't put up any poster. Okay. No poster. All right. But maybe maybe a gift certificate. Okay. Not sure. Um, so Golden Sale would be great, and maybe you could check with that marketplace. Um, okay, anyone else, Mark? Were you gonna? I have Starbucks here. What's I, where is I was oh. I was gonna put up a poster, and I'm sorry I didn't have a chance. To do All right, maybe I'll I'll go up there. I'll see. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. I'll, it was, I know it was to promote it and I just didn't get a chance. That's all right. Um, I did send off a related uh, notice to book school. And as I told Mark, I was kind of dragging my feet because I learned a couple of weeks ago that they had their own poetry contest going on up the school. Oh. And I kind of felt like, I didn't yeah. want to be like a, in competition with it. But um, then I decided, you know what, I, I want them to be included regardless. And if they can't participate or don't want to participate, fine, but at least I should, we should make the offer and get it out there to them. So I did send the, um, the head of the English department up there, um, Dean Charpentier, that's how he pronounces it, um, uh, invitation letter um, with two posters attached that have all the information so, and asked him if he could share it and if possible if he could post the flyers um, so 
We'll see. Yeah. Uh, now, it was good to ask. It was good to ask. Marie had said that she did get to stop by St. Michael's and um, dropped off a poster. And as I had mentioned to Mark, uh, the library ended up getting a uh, an entry. <laughs> And it looked like elementary school student. He had a cute drawing on it. Um, and I think that might be St. Michael's. I left a message and I never heard back from them to see if this student, if this person was indeed from that school. But I have a feeling that maybe because um, they were talking to Marie, they, they identified the contest with the library. Um, so I think we're getting some kind of feedback from them but uh you know your your the word feedback is important i would say if we could put some kind of a survey together or a couple of questions for anybody who enters where did you hear about it yeah we we'll can do that us in the future right what to try to see what works and what doesn't Oh, that's a good idea. That's, that's important to know. That's yeah, a good I think idea. the person who's entered. That's um, a great idea, Karen. Yeah. Uh, well not, not a long survey. We won't get it back. Well, but I figure if we get the kids to identify themselves and give the most important information, we'll be doing all right. Um, okay. What else? Anything else regarding trying to get the certificates for promoting. I feel like we're kind of in limbo here. Um, well, how about, how do we want to go about um, printing up the awards? Uh, we can do, you know, we can just do that on the computer, right? Alanika, how do you feel about putting your skills to work and to come up with a with um award certificate sure and i'm gonna i'm gonna let you mark would you be able to help her again in terms of sure, the sure. questions um yeah M mark if you could just like in an email uh state the words like this is sort of this is to award you or However, the general words are on a certificate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can, if you want to, Mark, you could actually even send that to everybody on the committee just to get any feedback. Out. But if you think you're all set, that's fine too. Carol, were you going to say something? Oh no, I just I I'd really like to see it before it's printed. What's that? I'd like to see them before they're printed, just so that yeah, we, okay. I think we should all see them really. It wouldn't hurt. Um, and uh, did I think we agreed we were going to do uh, first, second, and third, right? And that's it. Yes. Okay. And that's for each category, depending on yeah, depending on how many. On how many we got. <laughs> do we have any? Do we have any adults, Mark, at all? I yeah, think we I'm, do. We have one, two, three. Three adults so far. Okay. First, second, and third. <laughs> hey, there you go. Um, uh, I sh I should ask. Um, uh, I I should ask our past committee members if they have any interest in them. Well, that may that may be. One oh. of the I guess we can't really. I guess we couldn't really vote on them, could we? It would be a conflict of interest. No, no, if they submitted a poem, yeah. Well, because we won't know the name. Yeah, we well, don't that's know. True. That's true. Thanks, thanks for reminding me about that. Yeah. Yep, it's blind. Not to mention that we have the, uh, we're, we're like Solomon. We're, we're so, you know, we're so wise <laughs> and, and good. <laughs> All right. So, do you feel like Solomon? Like, uh, like Gail and, um, Mary Ellen and uh, what's her name um, from North from Andover? Um, oh, um, uh, oh, oh, shoot! Yeah, Linda. A couple of our past. Linda Haltmeyer. Oh, and what about um, uh, 
Well, you have to live. Who are you going to say, Bridget? No, I wasn't going to say who. Do, do they live, work, or study in town? That's what I was going to say. Good point. Uh, oh, I think she Gail lives in town. I'll check on that. You're right. Because I think we should leave her in. She was a former poet laureate. I mean, I, I was thinking of Jessica, but you're right. I, she does not work here. So. The question I had before, I don't think I got an answer for, though, as far as the uh, writers groups. Oh, what are you doing about that? Well, nothing, because I never heard anything from anybody. I, here's here's what I'm thinking, and what let, let me know what people think. Um, we could, uh, Karen, you could invite them to, to submit a poem, um, and we would just have them and people who are not from North Andover in a separate category and we, we could invite them to read a poem if we wanted to, but we just wouldn't judge in the same oh, way. Okay, so they would be- um, Like uh, special guests. Honored guests. Special <laughs> category. Visitors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll no, the same way, like, you know, we, we invited select board members um, and, and we got some interest there. So we have someone on the select board who wants to read a poem and, and the town manager, you know, we can have other special guests too, who, who have a connection to the town. So, okay. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah, that makes that sense. Good. Okay. And uh, somebody said to me, are we allowed to submit? And I said, I don't think so. The Poet Laureate Committee is not allowed to submit a poem. I, I, not for the no. contest. No, we would not do that. But you know what, again, it's like kind of the same thing. If you had a poem and we're looking at how many people are gonna read um, and, and, it's, and it's a good poem, we, we can have a past poet laureate, like, like if you had a poem, we could ask you to read a poem. Well, what, that could be uh, judged at the time of the event. Well, I wouldn't if do any judging. people, then maybe we don't need the poet laureate committee doing it. But if we don't, then we would. Well, I, I like the idea that Mark has of the special guests where they would be able to read. Yeah, right. They, they won't be part of the contest. They won't be. Right, but let's see how many of those people come. But that right. includes people on the committee here that could read. Yeah. And Lauren, if you had, if you were interested, or Bridget, or Radica. Right, because what I'm thinking is we're going to look at the program, we're going to look at how much time, how long we want it to go, how, right. how many winners we have, you know. Right. Before and, we uh, invite other people, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's so good. we can judge. What, what, do you, what do you think? I agree with that. Yeah. So what, so Karen, what do you want to do about contacting? Oh, I can contact the ones yeah. I was thinking of. I've only got the one group that I was thinking of because I don't really know the Which great one group. is that? That is the right group, which oh. has been meeting in North Andover since 1999, uh -huh. every week. Yeah. Um, yeah, Karen, would you, would you in oh, yeah. formally I've invite them? Talked, I've already talked with them. But, Did they meet up at Gail's yeah. house? They used to meet at Gail's house. Yeah, we used to meet at Gail's house then at Brightview, and that's the last one. Uh, Edgewood, we've met, met all over. The library, yep, we've met in quite a few different places. Edgewood, oh, I never thought about posting. Did we talk about posting in the retirement um, places? I, don't, I, I, I could, don't think it, I could go to Edgewood. Yeah, we didn't mention those two. And Brightwood. Brightview, Brightview and Edgewood. Right. And then there's the right. other one. Uh, what about Ash? What is it? Ash? Ashland? Ashland? Ashland Farms. Hmm. Those are all possibles. Okay. Um, so, Karen, if you could do that for the right group, I'll just explain that we'd love to have them. Uh, welcome, welcome to read. Be a special right. to be a speaker. Yes. I mean, right. they, yeah, ask them to submit something. Right, right. I mean, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. At, yeah. Tell them that they have to go to that website and submit. It's a special category. Yes. Yes. 
your spesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, are we ready to move on to yeah. Yeah. the event itself? Um, yeah. So are we going to have, I would think we'd want some chairs up on that stage for the committee and for special guests. But I don't think we're going to want them sitting on uh, their quilts on the lawn. So I guess I need to go back out and see how big that platform is. Would, and, the, public and it, people, would the public works people be able to help us with that? They usually well, I think we could just bring them ourselves, right? Bring the chairs. Well, I don't know where we'd get them, but... Well, they usually have chairs that they just bring on a, on a, um, for the trailer. Yeah, but I mean, how worth, it was worth asking about it. Do, who, who has that? I don't, I, yeah, I don't know who has, who, is it the recreation committee? Yeah, the recreation department has those. Sure. Okay. Um, oh, so what about, uh, the, is it Deus? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. The, the yeah. little podium. Yep. We're, are we having a podium or not? Um, I was going to borrow uh, Jim Jones' podium when I borrowed his sound system. So that's that's what I'm going to talk to him about. But yes, and, we'll have a podium. And, and can we do a like? Can we have a, like a sound check thing before the day or not with that? Um, I was thinking that too. That the, the weekend before, I would yeah. have the sound system and we do a sound check. Yeah, because the um, who's the guy? Uh, Jim Stanford wrote me a note and said that I had to notify Public Works if I wanted the electricity turned on, and I just want to make sure that we don't need it. We, you know, and if we do need it, then I do have to contact. Him. It's really weird. I was there in the middle. I was there in December. It was on. Oh. It was just on. Well, he sent me this April twelfth. I don't know. Okay, but. You know what? I mean, to make it official, yeah. I guess. Make make the request. You think right. I should do it anyway? It wouldn't hurt to just have that. Yeah. The reason why I didn't check that box when I put in the um, you know, the form that they request you fill out is because it said there was a fee involved. He did not allude to that here. He didn't mention it, but I'll double check. You know what? It, maybe they think maybe there are other places where there's power that they have to turn on, but uh, the, the setup at the at the bandstand, like I said, had power. It was there. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll, 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 the power. The power might have been on in December for the Christmas lights. It was. It's that the separate power system um, that I think is all always there. That's sure what it looked like. All right. Well, I will. I'll check uh, yeah. PW with him. Make okay, but that. but you know, Jill, just since they talked talk about it, yeah. you know what? Tomorrow, I I can check to make sure there's power, and and I, I can I can report back and let you know. Okay, power. if you'll do that before I touch base with him, that'd be good. Yeah, let me do that. Okay. Um. So who did we say we were going to talk to? The, oh my gosh. Is it the public works that does the seats? Who did you just say? The creation department. Thank you. I don't know why I wrote down S, recreation department. They probably have stuff stored right in the youth center or right nearby. I have a feeling it's some of it's stored there. Okay, I'll find out about that. Um, yeah, so that would be great if we could check that sound system um, yep. prior. Yep. Um, Do that. Any word back yet, Mark, from the North Andover Music Department? Is that looking like it's a iffy? Uh, at the moment, it's looking iffy because um, I, I reached out to a couple people in the band and they didn't respond. But I, I'm going to call them because, I mean, the chorus is a large group. And they sang us, they learned a song as the whole chorus this year um, and then performed it uh, like a week and a half ago. Uh huh. So I'm going to 
I think if I can get four or five kids, um, I think there's a good chance I'll get it. So I'm, I'm still. If they have at least one voice per part, two voices per part would be ideal. If they can get a sign up sheet to get to commit to that. Yeah. I mean, I, I got an email back from Sarah Durkin and she said, oh, that sounds great. Um, you know, you know what's the idea? <laughs> what's that? I'm not going to be around. I'm not going to be here. Well, she didn't say that actually, but then I found out she's she's going on maternity leave uh, right. in May. So, so I think I already spent. Right. But so uh, no news, but um, still, still uh, hopeful. Yeah. And what about what will they be singing? Because there is an Ann Bradstreet piece. Well, they don't want to learn. Something. I wouldn't want them to do the whole thing, but maybe a segment of it or something. I I think we want to recycle something they know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to ask them. There's a piece that they that they sang called "Dreams" and it's a Paul Lawrence Dunbar poem, um, which would be nice. Yeah. So it's on the theme. It's not explicitly about a. It's it's kind of about America. Um, not not explicitly, but uh, but it, it the title of it is dreams. So it's I very timely it, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All but right. I, I can talk with them to see. If, I think if they did anything else, I would ask them to do um, America the Beautiful or something like that. Right. That'd be nice. So okay. that 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 that's where I'm going. But they, whatever they have in their repertoire, that would that would yeah. dovetail nicely into. It, and scene. the idea is they would open, I can't remember what I said, they would open, they would sing a piece, they would read, as, you know, the parts of the poem, um, and then maybe they would sing another piece. And then that would be the opening to the event. And then we'd go into uh, the, the, the winners and other special guests reading a poem. I, I think that would go over really well. People would really like that. Well, that's another, topic that you just made me think of will we be announcing the windows first or do we want to have speakers speak first i kind of think maybe we should kind of lead up to the announcement of the winners at towards the end yeah we can decide how the program is going to be yeah organized okay if any anybody has any ideas about how we think we should construct this, um, please let us know. Okay. I mean, once we have the winners, I mean, I'd be happy to come up with a draft um, order of uh, events and we can talk about it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Signage and decorations. Do we want to do anything like that? I think it would, it's important to do something. I wish we could drape some like little lights around, but that might be more than than we're capable of doing. I'm not sure how much it would show up during the day, but I mean, what what at a minimum, what I was thinking is getting some, um, getting like those rolls of party streamers, uh, red, white, and blue, and and twist them together, and and just hang almost like bunting on on the stage. You know, the stage. If, if you know that stage, it's it's very like, shallow though. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like two feet off the ground, um, but just something to add some color there. Um, so well, I guess I could ask the recreation department about that. Maybe they may have something. Or would it be oh. the GPW? Who knows? I mean, I'll you ask, you you can ask. I guess I would be a little surprised that they would have something, but okay. but you can ask. I'm just thinking it's easy to it's easy to get. You know. Uh, oh, okay. The only um, thing where they do Fourth of July events, they might have some red, white, yeah, and blue true. swag, but they um, might have things left over. Right. But if not, you know, I don't know. And do what do we want to do for signs? Do we want signs up while it's going on, like on the corners of the commons where the traffic is, or that would be a nice invitation. Yeah. Come enjoy some poems. Right. It would be good to have um, two or three signs at the corners of the common, letting people know, like, that, you know, that it's taking, that it's happening that day. 
And as Latika said, you could always pour some water over them first to make it look uh, uh, yeah. you know. I, I, I have talked about alcohol, Karen, not water. <laughs> Would you what say alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> That's your place. What about um, a sign with the Anne, Brad, Anne Bradstreet Poetry Contest sign, like a big sign somewhere on the staging? Well, it's going to be lost to the public, though, except for the people who sit there. I think that would be a good idea. Yeah. Is there a way to make it? Um, I don't know. I got to think about it. I got to go look and see. Yeah. How we could, you know, set that up. It'd be lovely to have something that's a, like a banner that's in back yes. of us, uh, that's elevated, but I don't know. I know. And who knows if it's going to be windy? I, I don't know. That might be for next year after we get some funding. Um, you know, that's the, that's a good point, Cameron. We should apply to the, uh, I just looked at the cultural council, cultural grant, council. Okay. the grants today online, um, and where they went. Yep. And, Absolutely. Um, Cause I'm on the Lawrence one and this would be like the most the perfect, perfect thing. For it. Yeah. 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 They would like it. I mean, as well, well as we, the sign, Jill, yeah. I could at least do a sign that's the size of the, the street signs for the podium that said Anne Bradstreet Poetry Contest. You know what I mean? That's you mean to put on to put on the podium itself? Yeah. 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 We know how big the podium is and we keep it. It's a per, it's a permanent sign. But that's that's recycled. that's important. I think you're right. We should have something on that. And then and hmm. I don't know. Maybe if, maybe one to put you know how they do the um not for this year, but next year, across the doorway of the, um, used to be the printing museum, now it's going to be the Historical Society, have it up a couple of weeks before. Right. A huge, big, like they do uh, Father's Day, they do sheep shearing. Um, oh, okay. Something that's a real good publicity piece. Easy to see. And I don't think they, that the Historical Society would mind having us do that above, it's a, above the uh, doorway. Hmm. Okay. Next time. Yeah, that's the kind of thing. Well, next year is going to be great. Cultural <laughs> council is the kind of money for that. Well, I think this sounds like it is coming together. It's going to be a good start. Um, uh, yeah, signage is really important, and and you want to make it a little festive with some sort of decorations, but. If we want to do something really big like that, then we should even think of something in front of the town hall for next year. I mean, the more places you can put it. Right. And the town hall is smack in the middle of town, which has nothing to do with the common. Right. So those two places really should. I wish we still had a kiosk downtown there. We could, could have taken yeah. that over. Oh, uh, we could have the people put their poem. You know how they vote? You put your poems in that <laughs> box. They're voting for Ann Bradstreet. Yeah, I don't think so. I oh, mean, okay. well, there's only one political party. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, but the you... ballot box can be stuffed. <laughs> Karen, I thought you were saying there's only one political party, and you have to be in the Puritan Church, otherwise, you don't get to vote. <laughs> I, well, I did not go that far, Mark. <laughs> Are you in good oh, no. standing with the Lord? Yeah, really. Yes. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> moving right along. Okay. Yes. So, um, speakers, musicians. All right. I think we kind of touched on all this stuff that I put on the agenda. Uh, yeah. Collect award gifts. Um, we can carry on a lot of this activity online emailing. Yep. yep. Um, what, what we there's one thing we didn't talk about. Um, so we have a list of judges now, right? A long list. Yep. Which oh, we got a lot, a huge list. But do we have some that will appear on the day? Oh, so nice. I'm thinking we just need to get a couple like maybe three or four for the elementary and then get like a couple for everybody else. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. I, so, I guess. Aaron, you know what? You might look at your list and kind of put little stars next to the people that you think would right. be most likely to be able to make it and want to do it. Right. And, right. Um, well, I can even ask them the people I think that might yeah. want to do it. Yeah, Karen, well, take take okay. a look at the list, just like Jill's saying, um, and, you know, pull out. We, yeah, pull out some people and, yeah. and ask them if they would like to come and, and that they can make it on the 22nd. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have one lady who's asked me four times, when are we judging? I definitely will put her on the okay. list. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so hey, we can... Karen? Uh, I know I had um, asked myself to be the judge. Feel free to pull me out because there are so many. So, oh right, one oh, less right. person to no, contact. None of, us, <laughs> none of us need to be on the list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they they we have a good solid group of people. Um, Although one of us we, would be a, a the, like the judging coordinator for that category, right? Right, Karen. I'm oh thinking. yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. One would be the lead in each group. Yes. Okay. Yep. Good. Oh, I forget what I was just going to say. Um, hmm. Oh, so we, when we establish, get a, a clear cut list of who's going to be there and who's going to be judging, who's going to be judging and will be there on the 22nd, that list that we, you come up with them and we finalize and you've contacted them and they've confirmed they can, do both those things. Yep. Um, uh, we should notify the other people who kindly offered to do it. Okay. Um, and how how do how should we should we ask them if they want to come and present, or do we just say thank you but no thank you? How how do you want to? Um, let me think about that. Yeah. It's, it, well, we, we, we would love to have them in the audience. Yeah, right. We want to invite them to come. We need audience. Yeah, but I, it's a little strange that we've asked them to judge, and now we're kind of unasking them in right. a way. Well, cause, it, was, cause well the, it was quite a while ago that I asked. I mean, I think they understand, you know, that, that this is the first time and we're not getting the numbers of entries that right. we Right. That's all I have to tell them. About. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay to and say, you know, really thank sort of, you. It was sort of tentative anyway because they said, okay. Yeah, no idea how many people really? we might get 100 elementary and some even <gasps> and then i said we <laughs> might get two, we might get four right so we had okay. no way of judging all right so at some point we're just going to make sure that we yeah we i don't think i'm going to hurt anyone. who's going to be doing it that we let the other people know that right and situation. make sure you can save the date for next year yes okay. nice all right um i want to actually had one thought i wanted to bring up what if the weather is bad that day? That's yeah, a good well, point. That's a real good point. Yeah. Do we have a, I would almost say, do we have a snow day? <laughs> Please. You're making me nervous. I know. Though. I mean, can we uh, think about the next Saturday as the. Like, how does that work? I don't know. Do you, you do it the next day on, on, the, on, the next, on the next day or would it be. Isn't the next day. Was there an event? Yeah. Well, it's oh, thanks. tentatively, but if they're having the sheep shearing, it's usually that oh, next right. Sunday. Um, hmm. Did you hear whether that's going to be in, in person or not? I don't know. Oh, this is a, this is, yeah, what are, are we going to do? I can ask Town Hall about, I don't know how that works. Well, somebody in the town hall should know if they're coming. But I mean, I don't know if somebody's already like, I don't know if there's such a thing as a rain day. Um, what, what you could do is, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe have the rain date as Sunday, the, the following day, and see if that's available. Try to reserve the bandstand for Sunday at one o'clock. Okay. If the sheep shearing is not going on, but that was right. the day it's supposed to go on. Well, wait a minute. When was sheep shearing? Wasn't it that Sunday? We don't know. Third Sunday in May. Oh, they don't know whether they're going to do it or not? No, we, I, don't, I haven't heard. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Oh. Nope. You'd usually hear some kind of advertising by now. 
It's only a month from now. Right. Okay. And um, I don't think Mark, that, I'm glad you brought that up. I couldn't believe they that they didn't, didn't do about. it. They didn't do it last year. Right. Oh. Oh, that's I, interesting. I mean, I wouldn't well, be surprised. Is, if they don't. That's a good point. I talked over you, Mark. What did you say? Oh, just. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not having it. You know, I just. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, they could. All right. So I will call Town Hall. Yeah. Ask about that. Um, <laughs> and they may be the ones who might know about the bunting decoration. See if they would know who that is too. I think it's the um, Public Works. Uh huh. Or it may be the Improvement Society. Right. I mean, it Ooh. could be Pilot Slade. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Um, anything else before we do our last little uh, bullet item here on the agenda? Anything no. else related to the uh, contest? Okay. So we'll, the only other business I know of is Mark, you might want to make just a quick reminder to people who may be listening about open mic tomorrow. Oh, yes, right. Um, Andrea Valario is the feature poet tomorrow at 7 o'clock on Zoom if you go to Facebook, uh, Facebook events, North Andover Poet Laureate Committee. North Andover Poets Corner, rather. North Andover Poets Corner. Yeah. All right, on Facebook. Yeah. Tomorrow at seven. Yeah. Great. Anyone else have anything they want to share? Um, anything new and exciting in the <laughs> local poetry world or wherever? Now we're on Zoom. All right, what about a meeting date? Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be emailing so yeah. uh, like right after Mother's Day. Is that too late? That's too late. Mother we, Mother's Mother's Day is too late. Do we meet again in a week Maybe. and just have a short meeting? Uh, okay. Let's let's go with that for the moment. Okay. And um, when's Mother's Day? Mother's Day is the ninth, and the twenty second is the event. Oh, we could do the eleventh or twelfth. Tenth. Tenth. May tenth. Tenth. Okay, we'll we'll, e we'll we'll email everyone and come up with a good date for that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it could be the third or the tenth. Yeah. Okay. And um, and Bridget. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking if you have a few minutes tonight, I could give you a call and we could uh, walk through the email login. Yeah, that sounds you good. Do that? Yeah, that okay. sounds good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I can, I'll email you my contact right after, info right after. Oh, okay, good. Meeting. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Great. Um, la, 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 la. I'm supposed to be the secretary pro tem, Jill Barker, next meeting. So yeah. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there because uh, I am going to um, remind uh, Jason, I'm sorry he was unable to join us, um, that he will be doing the notes for this meeting and he can catch um, the gotcha. recording on YouTube to help him with that. Okay, I will send a notice out to everyone with those two dates and get get a sense of who can come when, and we'll go with the more popular date, and I'll let you know. Okay, sounds good. And Latika or Bridget or Mark, do you have any poem you, or Karen? Do you have any poem you want to close with? I don't have one. Okay, all right. So we're we going to call it a night then. I'm good. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got a lot done. Yes, thank and, you. Um, we'll be in touch. Uh, so the meeting is adjourned. And thank you.